32 days before the grand presidential rematch, a showdown looms in the August House, with Jubilee Kinon pushing for key changes in the Elections Act. At the heart of NASA leader Raila Odinga's successful presidential election petition were anomalies in the electronic transmission of results from the polling stations to the National Tallying Center. Jubilee is seeking to tinker with Section 44.1 of the Elections Act to cure any ambiguity on the use of technology in identification of voters and transmission of poll results. In the amendment bill that will be published next week, Jubilee wants IEBC to publish the complementary mechanism it would resort to should it encounter challenges in transmission meeting results, as happened last month, where up to 11,000 polling stations were not covered by 3G or 4G technology. Our parliament has got its parliamentary group. I know that they are meeting next week to deliberate on this. I know, and I think you did hear in the judgment, that the judgment alluding to the fact that it may be necessary to address uh, some of the legislations which uh, uh, which, which need to be addressed to get rid of any ambiguity that has been created by the Supreme Court ruling. IBC, on its part, says provisions for use of a complementary mechanism exist, though require clarity. I mean, we've always had it. It's just that maybe it wasn't clear uh, in, in the documentation. And so what we intend to do as a commission is to be able to outline it very clearly so that everybody knows what that complementary mechanism is. And the complementary mechanism is very simple. It is about, uh, the, the, you know, if you cannot transmit the results electronically, then you are going to physically bring the papers, all your papers, to the National Tallying Center for purposes of them being put together and announced for, for, for the election. So those things maybe were not put very clearly down, but we will be publishing them so that, um, you know, the public is aware of those processes. On determination of presidential election petitions, Jubilee is planning to use its numerical muscle in the two chambers of parliament to slash key powers from the courts after the highest court in the land invalidated President Kenyatta's re-election. Citing anomalies in the electoral process, Jubilee is planning to amend Section 83 of the Elections Act to establish qualitative and quantitative indicators as well as the threshold for annulling a presidential election. Jubilee proposes to substitute the word or with and to compel the Supreme Court to consider election results and the effect any non-compliance with electoral laws would have before invalidating the results. The proposed amendment styling with Kenyatta's anger with the Supreme Court after his re-election was annulled. Kuu katika taifa la Kenya imefanywa na watu waine kule kotini. Hii ni kuu. Hakuna kitu ingini. And I must call it what it is. The proposed changes could be the next frontier between Jubilee and NASA before the presidential repeat polls. Francis Gashuri's Citizen Weekend.